Yo everybody, what's going on? This is that collection video I talked about in that other thing. I'm just uh, mainly using the uh, desk lamp for this since the lighting's so terrible. Let's just turn that off so you can, yeah. I mean, this puts out light, but it doesn't do much unless I boost the camera. But as for right now, I'll just uh, direct this so we have some sort of ambient lighting. Now, the top shelf is mainly just uh, little miniatures I've been painting. I need more colors because, uh, well, I'm not getting all the color ranges that I wanted, you know? Because uh, if we look over here at this guy, or girl, female grave wraith, it's, I try blending with white as you would with painting, but it just ends up looking like there's a bunch of powder or ashes. I guess it's fine with the grave wraith since uh, undead ashes and all that business. Then you got the uh, dark elf I did. We got the undead dragon I'm going to redo because, uh, well, I thought the enamels would do good. But it kind of didn't turn out. The base looks fine, though. It's an old frisbee. And uh, that's the base it came with. They used acrylic on that. But I'm going to get some black primer, go over the undead dragon lord, and try and repaint him. Ooh, but a good one I did. This is recent. It's tiki. Sacrificial. It's got golden skull inside. Greenery works. It's got the sacrificial blood on it. This is one of my favorite ones I did most recently. It's pretty cool. I also got a ton more of these guys. There's a dragon hatchling, some unpainted tribalman, grave wraith. Now I made this into a statue, a female ghost statue. Get some light because it's shiny. Yeah paint's shiny. I used liquid chrome on it to give it extra shine, like a wearing from rain and all that. We got a haunted tree in back. Some of my favorite ones I did. And we got a dryad swamp ghost. That's a work in progress. We got a bronze gold dragon protecting his treasure hoard. Still got to work on that one. Need some darks to get the grays out. And we got a Demoness uh, Mimic, which is one of my favorites. Death Knight 3, 2, and 1. This Death Knight right here is one of my favorites I did. Because I like how I just made him shiny and metallic. It's cool. No fancy shading techniques here. All metal. We used some... Uh, sh we used tarnished bronze, liquid chrome, aged pewter. These are all paints, by the way. And I used some elements of... Uh, enamel golds and bronzes on them. Other guys I'm planning on doing the same thing. Now if we uh, go down to this shelf and zoom out. This is my uh, classic games shelf. Turn down the brightness just a smidgen. We got the, the only two Skylanders anything I own because they did a fairly competent job on Cortex and Crash I believe. Crash looks good except for the voice acting work that made him speak it ain't right. You got the Cortex, that's probably the best looking thing ever. You got the official Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation Play buttons. We got Crash Pop, I wanted to get a Cortex, but there was bad reviews on how they looked. I still might get one, not sure. A little Link from the Wind Waker that I uh, put on a miniature base and put grass on. I did some touch-ups and glued his limbs on since they didn't stick right. Oh yeah, I did some uh, blind boxes for Bethesda games. I got Doom Guy. Uh, Dragonborn, Fallout 4 dude, and the uh, guy from the whatever it's called, the Elder Scrolls Online. Got some Diablo 2 boxes, the expansion and the original. Love Diablo 2, it's amazing. S the classic Spyro games 1 through 3, there's my uh, limited gold shiny Spyro 2. Really love that. I've had two copies of each of these games. That's how hard I played. Uh, Spyro 1, 2, and 3, and yes, they are the official discs, like color discs, instead of like the uh, best of, like with Ape Escape here. Ape Escape's a game I really love too. I guess I would, I would dare put this on the same level of love that I would Spyro 1. Here's my favorite two Spyro games. I might like Spyro 2 a little bit more than 3. I don't know why. I got a Game Boy here with a classic Tetris in it. The only reason I have that. We have the medieval... Uh, one and two games and the remake which is resurrection it's it's for an honest remake it's not bad but it's not 
it's, it's hmm, for PS2, it's a PSP port, I guess you would call it. It's a remake of one. They've added stuff, changed things out. And oh yeah, here's the TF2 shelf with a Japanese Spyro. I want to get um, the uh, European release of 2 because it's called uh, Gateway to Glimmer. And I want a, uh, a Japanese of all three games, which are really cool because in this uh, pack, they have given me this. This, this is just pristine, by the way. Like, it's like nobody even touched it. And you take out the little thing, they give me an Ape Escape 1 disc. I think it's a demo, but it's still in there. That's cool, I love Ape Escape. It's like in Japan, they have like 14 different Ape Escape games. And if we look closely, we got my uh, portable Mercs. I've only ever opened five. I've only gotten a double of NG. I've given it to my brother, the duplicate. And uh, I pulled Shiny NG and the Pyro Land Pyro, two of the rarest ones, and I've got Soldier. All I need now is to get the rest of the main ones and the uh, Invisible Spy, and then I'm good. Then you get the three TF2 Pops, the Bonk Can, the uh, Spy Crab, and this anomalous tape. I have no idea where it came from. Yeah. It's weird stuff. Down here you have the entire collection of Shaman King and then the Teen Titans cards. Shaman King 1 through 32. I have a issue 33 on my computer since it was never officially printed. The uh, infamous Roger Rabbit VHS where uh, you can get a bit of a Jessica Rabbit action in that one frame but if you get it on DVD or anything else it's been uh, edited. You got the, you know, Raven Daughter Darkness comics. They're, they're okay. I got 4 out of 12. Some card protectors. Mainly from just mailed in stuff. The, uh, really old classic Tolkien things for, uh, Lord of the Rings quadrilogy. It's a good box. These pages were never opened. I opened The Hobbit up. That's why it's got, like, a bent up spine, if you can actually see it. It's quality. I don't know if you can see it. But this is like the only spine that's been, the rest of them are like never been opened. They're like that old and that untouched. Down there you just got some uh, model painting stuff and some LPs that I own. Oh yeah, classic meatloaf record. It's in this frame because the disc is warped and I can't really play it. I put it on my turntable, it just spun around, it's horribly warped. But it's nice to have, uh, it's a vintage record. And just uh, other stuff for model making, got some... Grass tufts. This contain this uh, cigar box has a bunch of uh, bases. There's some paint trays I use from the uh, models I get. It's a bit dusty in here. I have to dust it a bit. It's gonna take all this stuff off the shelf and take quit dusting on it. But right next to it, we have Eddie from Peace of Mind, probably one of my favorite Iron Maiden albums. I had a tape of it once, but the uh, tape player I had in my car ate that tape. But it's just game collection. Only mainly PS2 games, some PC games down here. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, here's a classic. If I can get it out, I Spy Treasure Hunt, circa 1999 or 2000. Old thing. We got a uh, Virtual Villagers, an old game I used to play. Uh, Fate, which I would call um, Diablo 2 for kids whose parents are a little too afraid of the spooky skeleton on front. It's the E10 game for uh, people who want to play Diablo but can't because their parents are overbearing. Fate and Discovered Realms, the double pack. This has games one and two in it. They're fun. I I'd give them a good rating for what they are. A bootleg of a TF2. We only got the movies one and two. I got these games solely on the fact that German did a stream on them and it was just hilarious. So I got the games and played them. It's worth playing. Got some GameCube games down there. Next to some socks. All the uh. DS games I own with all the PS1 games I own. Of course, I've lost a few on the way. We got Spiral One down there, Crash, Hercules, a classic, The Grinch, Pong, some Crash Bash. I don't know where my CTR disc went. I have the case and the front manual for it, but I don't know where the disc went. We have uh, instant classics up on this shelf. We got Spyro Four, actually kind of a bad game. Spyro 5, A Hero's Tale, the thing I would call the last good Spyro game ever. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, I'm not going to say it's a classic. Crash to Insanity, ow. Probably the best sp Crash game I've ever played, in my opinion. My favorite one. It's funny. It's got good tunes on it. It's got the best Cortex voice actor, same one they used in uh, the reboot. Nitro Card, A Shadow of Its Former Self, Apescape 2 and 3. I love Apescape. 
Wrath Cortex. Undersold, actually. It didn't receive well for whatever reason. We got Attack, Instant Classic. We got Maximo. It's like Ghosts and Ghouls for the PS2 generation. I'll probably do a playthrough on this because I've never gone all the way through it. It's done by Capcom, same people who did Ghosts and Ghouls back in the day. It's supposed to the same kind of thing. This guy gets after, goes after girl, captured by evil like zombie dudes or what have you. See on the back. You have a life bar, which isn't really a life bar. It's just you wearing your armor. Hit one, you lose your armor. Hit two, you're dead. How about that? Thrillville Classic, the original uh, Star Wars Lego games, Instant Classics, the only battlefronts that exist in my canon. Episode 3, Re Revenge of the Sith, Clone Wars game. My, it's a tank game, essentially, and it's so good. So many memories played on this game. Two-player split-screen games, just you and the vehicles. Oh my god, they're so good. Hit and Run and Road Rage, Instant Classics. I don't know why the SpongeBob game's up there. Uh, I've finally been able to beat that after all these years, mainly because I didn't touch it. Pinball game, what can I say? It's pinball, it's fun. But anyway, <clears throat> up here, PS3 games. If you can tell, uh, I got a lot more PS2 games than PS3 games, uh, mainly because PS3 games, there wasn't a lot that I actually wanted. It's a... And of course, the only PS4 games I own. Oh yeah, and that knack's hiding back there somewhere with Injustice, but there we go. The only ones I actually play, minus Dark Souls 3, because I got on a PC. We got the PS Vita game, Little Big Planet th uh, Vita. Eh. Eh. <laughs> that Vita didn't do well. I only got two games for it, never touched it since. Got a PSP hiding in there. Some CD fixers, because my god, did I play some CDs. And scratch them up. We got two disc fixing systems. This goes with this. It's supposed to like buff out and uh, fill the cracks with like a, a clear stuff. And this one buffs out the big scratches. You use them together, you get good CD like repairs. Got Pikachu there, just chilling. Game Boy games and this. I've had this forever, man. Game Boys. I played those out. I've destroyed two Game Boys just playing them. Of course, we got DK Jungle Boot Mongos, uh, GameCube, classic PS3 Fat Boy. N64 with a PS4 that I never touch. Never. Oh yeah, let me tell you about these N64 controllers. I had to buy like three of them. Because one, the more recent one I bought, besides this one, this stick broke off. There's one back here. Look how much I've played this thing. I've had to tape up the controller. The cable's like been chewed. Almost. Just chewed straight through. Uh, we got a yellow one down in the peripherals box down there. Move the uh, the bag of uh, sponge I've shredded for model making. We got some PS Vita, Vita stuff, a Van Halen record, uh, chargers for the uh, PS Move controllers, all that garbage. Here's a box down here. It says PSP stuff, but what's really in there is uh, chargers for PSP, PS Vita, and an entire PlayStation 2 that I'm keeping because my God, are they awesome! Let's talk about the, uh, boom, GameCube games. All classics. Why, why are these here? Get these out. Throw those away in the garbage. I, they, I don't officially own these. Off the record, I don't own these. Ever. But here we are. We got Chibi Robo. A fun little cute game. Uh, the reason I have two of these discs is, uh, I purchased another one because the discs got scratched on this one, or this one. One of these is bad, but I own them. There's Soul Calibur 2, probably the last good one in my opinion. Uh, if you're going to get Soul Calibur 2, get yourself a, a GameCube because you get to play as Link. This is cool. He's actually pretty good and pretty competent. Mario Party 6 and 7, the last ones I've kept up with besides 3. Man, Luigi's Mansion, classic. Jungle Beat, it's such a fun game. Double Dash makes me an evil human being. I say the most godless things while playing that game. 150cc reverse. I become the worst person you've ever met. I say stuff that you wouldn't say to someone you hate. Super Mario Sunshine, it's a good game. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door blows Paper Mario 1 out of the water all the way. And then you got some uh, Leaf Speed Underground, really good. Cars, I don't know why I own that. It used to be my brother. These two used to be my brothers. He used to own a GameCube. They got me one for my uh, 
18th birthday, I believe. They got me an extra one so I didn't have to keep borrowing his because I played it a lot. Of course, you got the PSP games right there. This one was my brother's, but I got it, but I inherited it because his PSP broke. And it's actually cool to customize cars in these. It's like the last good in Need for Speed where you customize stuff. Battlefront 2 for the PSP has uh, extra levels that other ga games don't have. Shin Budokai, basically Budokai Tenkaichi 3. If you uh, took out a lot of fighters, put like 15 dudes in. Daxter's a game I want to play again. I'm going to probably play this. Ape Escape Academy. What can I say? It's Ape Escape Academy. We've only gotten like five Ape Escape games. We've gotten these two. Academy. Academy 2. One up here. And I think we have Pumped and Primed. I don't know. It's like a weird thing. Well, yeah, there's like the only Pokemon games I own. I have a... They're, they're actually over here. On the desk with where, where all these card opening videos are made. Look at that. I'm uh, actually finalizing a video right now where it's already been done. Here's the microphone. Look at that. There's a newer uh, NW800 cheap thing. Of course, there's some stuff on the wall up there. We'll get to that later. Here's the TV I don't play with because I rarely watch TV. We got some socks and a bag. My tools because I actually work out and work around stuff a lot. PSP stuff all the way up here. The only PS3 games I own. They need to bring this one back. Put this on PS4, I will buy it in a heartbeat, because Mod Nation Racers is awesome. Karting is a disappointment. It's Mod Nation Racers with a Little Big Planet, like, skin to it. Oh yeah, I also got a Little Big Planet 3 up there. I played it, it's alright. It's not 2. 2 is amazing. Little Big Planet 1's got such good, like, charm to it. And the Resistance Collection, I got it out of a box set. I don't know where that box went. It's, like, thrown away, I think. Or I smashed it. Yeah, the camera cut me off again. I don't know what else I was talking about. Let's just move on to all that stuff I got just in my room. Taking up space. Look at you. Iron Maiden, some uh, Star Wars stuff. There's Grievous. A little clone trooper. Bring back the clones. Forget Disney. They made bad Star Wars movies. I don't like them. Hey, look. I gotta finish that. Because I'm supposed to be doing that for an art project. I got graded fully because I promised I'd show them that. But oops. Forgot. Anyway. Back to the desk. If I could focus. We got my keyboard I use. So that's usually hung up on my light. But I wanted to move it. We got the mail knives. A bunch of them I ordered. Fun fact. Uh, I lacerated myself using this one. Here's the scar on my hand down there. Yeah, that dark line there, that's where it cut me. I talked about it in the video. I was like, Rob, one day you're going to cut yourself with it. And I did. Who would have known? Here's my charger to my phone like it matters. Here's my space. Here's a monitor. Oh, yeah, there's my monitor. It's huge. Who needs a TV when you got a monitor that size? And it's got... It's the, it's the one below 4K. This is 4K, this is mine. Who really needs 4K though? It plays games real nice and I, I enjoy it. And it looks good from my bed. Oh yeah, here's some stuff I used to paint my uh, miniatures. There's the towel I used to put paints onto. I soak it with water so it soaks up the water but leaves mostly pigments. Uh, I've looked that up online. That's a method people use. That's pretty good. Oh, that's a filing cabinet. Near my laptop. And there's over there. Let's go take a trip to the filing cabinet because uh, that's where I keep. Let's get my little lantern here. Interesting thing, I put the lantern here so I can like look at stuff at night without turning on the overhead light. But this is where I keep the cards. Here's the Yu-Gi-Oh box. Here's Magic Gathering stuff. And here's the Pokemon box. With these cool stickers I got. With the Space Marine Pikachu from StarCraft, uh, Blaziken Mega, Lucario Mega, and Meowth Sushi Bar. That's funny. All those cards. Uh, here's the V Binder. And here's a uh, bunch of Sun and Moon Pack stuff that I'm getting organized uh, to free up some space. I'm going to put some Shining Legends in there because uh, I've got a good number of those cards. I might do another Shining Legend. Those little pin boxes? Oh yeah, here's the pins. You know those little pin boxes where uh, you get like the dudes like Mewtwo? 
You know that? I'm gonna do more of those because they're cheap, they're small, and they come with stuff I can talk about. You can open up a box, use a bunch of pins. Down in the link, there'll be a, uh, down in the description, there's gonna be a link to my, like, my collections page on an app. Uh, you can get that app and follow me on it. I will, uh, update stuff. You'll get video updates on cards and stuff. Here is the Pokemon booklet I got. There's the Shining Legends mat. I use it on top to hold my stuff. There's a candy machine I ate all the candy out of. I use this as a bank to be like, okay, if I save money and put coins in there, I'll be able to get like a reward out of it. Turns out I just take the bottom out and put a coins in and just keep taking all the candy out of it. Here's a virtual reality headset for your phone I don't use. There's a drawing and two drawings I did. Hey, look, it's medieval. I got my cup there. My uh, 2DS because this is like way cheaper. I got a pipe full of corks I use for uh, making models, the the headphones in that one video. Still work good. It's just sometimes uh, this little part down here moves and it kind of sounds weird. We got a Vans Ninja. We got a Batman uh, Uno right here. Still sealed up. The cards are still sealed. See, Batman Uno. Still in the plastic. These are like really old stuff too. Classic Batman. Not classic Batman where he'd shoot communists. The uh, the new one where he's afraid of firearms and is the pacifist in all means. I uh, liked him more when he shot communists. And clear playing cards. Those are cool. I got those back in Vegas. I didn't go, but my mom did. We close that up. We got a uh, survival knife. Something fell over. We got a survival knife with a magnet that has my art on it. A print. And that's mainly just got stuff in it. Some old magazines and what have you. It's Pink Floyd stuff. I'm a, it's my favorite band ever. There's an airsoft pistol, some cords, some calculators, my box, my 2DS, all that. Some manuals. Down here, VS, VSH tapes with a Robin Williams, God Rest Your Hilarious Soul with Flubber. We got some Rugrats movies back in the day that we had. I got this, this tape somewhere. Got Truman Show, Jim Carrey classic. We got a whole bunch of old. This is just tapes everywhere. Just all in there. Tapes. A bunch of Simpsons recordings, even though I already have all the best seasons in it. There's no real reason for me to have those tapes still, but I have them. This is the, the few books that I own. Because uh, I don't read. There's some DVDs. Down here at the bottom part. Ugh, look at that. That's all like archived drawing stuff. Just a bunch of stuff, some prints, some black paper. Here's a bunch of clean paper that I haven't used yet, mainly red stuff. Ooh, ooh, do I have it? Do I have it? Can I show it off here? Oh, uh, that ain't it. Oh, sticks. Yeah, I played Sticks uh, Master Dark, Master Shadows. Such a good stealth game. I drew that up because I, I, I like the game so much, like upon playing it, I drew it up. I might do a video of Sticks 2 because I haven't played it yet. I have it on my desktop. Got them on sale. It's a really good game. And here's just like a, a box full of old drawings I went through, like stuff from middle school. There's Horo Horo in there from Shaman King. That's how old it is. Some clipboards, other stuff. Here's just a bunch of blank white paper. Uh, it's not white, but it's like yellowed parchment paper. Real thin. It's good texture for uh, pen work, as I'm told. And we got a uh, banana sticker. I think that's the, um, who, who was his name? He did the Campbell soup can. Oh, man, I hate having to do this. I'm doing. I don't know. Who's Andy Warhol? I think that's one of his works put into a sticker. We have a high voltage sticker, a fan, some other box. That has a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in it. That's my Skull Servant mat. And just other boxes with stuff in them. That's art supplies down there in the, in the gray, like, locked box. Here's my laptop. Cool. Cool. Just DVDs. Back to the desk. Man, my camera is overheating. Holy cow. It's like warm. Here we got a little sketch I did in class because I'm bored of just hearing things. There I am playing little cards with my TF2 hat on. Look at that. Oh yeah, here's the PC. Not going to talk about it because I don't care. I built it myself. Ooh, little alien dudes. I found these guys while cleaning. I love them. There's my uh, 
PC mascot with a Bugs Bunny from Space Jam. Some of these flash drives. Uh, here's the rest of the flash drives I use. I'm putting like emulators on them and all that. Then mail knives, again. A little uh, tape dispenser. This money is put away and saved for uh, the, the Spyro game. So it's not in my wallet because I want to keep it safe. Don't want to. Oh, great. There's the little heating up icon. But uh, there's some candy. I like candy a lot. There's my thing. I need to dust it. I don't know if you can see the dust, but I need to so badly dust this thing. Like, I need canned air. Like, this thing collects dust so quickly. Oh, yeah. There's my uh, thing I built. From reclaimed wood. I used this brush for dusting. I was going to use it for painting, but I did some paintings. You realized I haven't used it yet, so I use it to dust off my keyboard. So, yeah. Cool stuff. I'm actually going to take a break from recording. I mean, this The rest of it's going to be like later, later on because this camera's overheating. S jump cut. So, while I'm getting my uh, camera all cooled down. Decided to go through my singles here. Here we got a good Def Leppard one. Uh, Foolin', that's a good track. The B side is, uh, I think it's the B side. It's hard to tell sometimes. B side is coming under fire. I'm gonna go ahead and put them back in this little container I had them in. This is right. We're just gonna put them like this. Got you, uh, Willie Nelson's. Good tracks. This one's the good one. This is the A side, clearly. That's a good track. We have a. Uh... Oh, this is Sticks. Sticks, I'm okay. That's the B side, and the A side is Babe, I think. Hard to tell with these. Yep, that's A side. This is B side. And there's my record player up there. I'm not going to focus it out because I'm going to focus it back. This is where the uh, Styx record was kept in, because I got it out of a store like that. See? Now, that's the Def Leppard fooling record when Def Leppard was still really good. Here's Bon Jovi, always. This is just a really good single. Living on a Prayer and You Give Love a Bad Name. Here's a Queen one. Got it for Christmas one year. Another one bites the dust, and the other one is uh, Don't Try Suicide from uh, their uh, News from the World album. It's just got this... I need to get a new case for it. And here is the last single I own, The Police, having a one side as everything, she, every little thing she does is magic, and the B side is a shambo. It's a good album, I've listened to this. I'm going to go ahead and set this back down here where it was. And here's my big records. Here's my Mastodon Crack the Sky record. Oh man, the corner's been bent. Now it's not one of the cool, uh multicolored records as they were did later and it does come with a little insert in there I'm not going to pull it out because it's a hassle to put back in but here's the other side really cool art in there I think that's from the Oblivion single I forget which single this was but here's that it's a good, good album back when the Master Dunn was still really good there's a Phil Collins classic uh, No Jacket Required Vintage it's Jimmy Buffett, because I really like Jimmy Buffett, actually. He's got good... I like coastal stuff, like nautical business. Haven't listened to this album yet. Look, I like this. This is cool. This is cool, man. Here's the tracks. Pencils and Mustaches, I've heard that one. And uh, that's, that's it. I've only heard that track off of it. And here's the Van Halen record. Diver Down. I've listened to some of this, but not all of it. A bit of those. Seems like a good album. The songs I've listened to are good. Now I put those back behind the singles. And uh, I put my uh, painting things behind there. Is a Reaper. I use Reaper paints. They're not sponsoring me. That's just what I use. That's like a little Reaper case because they gave me that. I bought it actually. I didn't even buy it. I got it for Crit Birthday. There's my Meatloaf record. My CDs 
under there in the darkness where nobody can see yep nobody can see under there when I was uh, taking a break watching this and uh, having a bit of lunch charging that up and just doing whatever actually dusting off stuff while I was here and while I was dusting this camera fell onto my foot my socked Nintendo foot and it hurt like the dickens so yeah that's cool um as for Pokemon videos when I'm opening stuff up I'm looking at some uh, small shining legends boxes taking a look at those probably gonna go get them and as for uh, playing Medieval 1, that should actually be the next video that goes up. The start of that thing. I, mean, I don't have the thing over here. But that should be going up soon, if not tomorrow, or not tomorrow. Like, uh, today's, today's Thursday, today's Monday. I'm recording it on Wednesday. Next week will be the release of this video. Thursday should be the release of the Medieval stuff. And from that point on, I haven't actually kind of no good clear indication of what's going to be going up on the channel i have plans but nothing as of right now is recorded i don't know which order if i'm going to shoehorn in some pokemon stuff or what have you well that's pretty much it for the collection video we could go through my game boy games and the, like all the other stuff that i own in greater detail but um i might save that for when it matters there's a black light up there that's yeah, not important though. So this has been the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, down in the description, there's a link to my Schnupps page. Also, I'm thinking about getting a Twitter for the channel. Not even gonna. I might not even use it. It's usually one of those things where it's like, oh, it'd be nice to have for the channel, but would I use it? I don't know. So this is the video. I'm gonna probably go over what's up. here here later there's not really much need necessary up here except for a lego architecture stuff some little minifigs stuff like that nothing real important there's some more of these guys some uh vintage uh race car things eddie some tiki cups little cheap garbage and oh yeah, there's PlayStation and Skyrim map, but no, nothing really that special. So this has been the video. Oh yeah, uh, more figures are going to be piled on that as I do videos, which would be kind of cool to look at. Eventually I'll uh, expand the top of that, maybe put a bigger board across, drill it down, have more room for all my minis, my little figurines. There's my miniatures up here. I'll get those painted. I might do a video of me painting a miniature all the way through. I just want to get some more paints that are on the the shopping list. Like I need some uh, magentas, maroons, some uh, deep purples, strong, vibrant colors. Stuff I really don't have as of right now. But yeah, I'll probably make videos of those later. I'll probably use the uh, little camera up there to record it. Because this thing likes to overheat and cut me off randomly. Yeah. This camera's cheap. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, one day, I might paint one of these miniatures through. Record it with that camera of me painting it. Get close-ups with this one. You can have more lunch. Record some medieval. Edit some videos. And probably open up some more packs later. Nothing too expensive, no big boxes like the $15, $12 to $15 little uh, Shining Legends boxes will do me. Come with pins. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, this is the video.